Boom. We're rolling. I gotta grab my coffee though. Hey, should I do the caramel one or the regular? Caramel. Ooh. We got it, we got it. Do you shake them up? Leave them out on the coffee. We can fix that. Welcome back to another video. This is the second sit down video I've done in a row. Reason being, you know what? We're just not vlogging. We're just chilling. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. And since I'm over here with Xenia in Germany, uh, I was like, hey, well, let's do some type of like Q&A video. Whoa, this is, that is so cool. We're gonna do some type of like Q&A video for the channel. That being said, we have asked you guys to send in a bunch of questions to both of our Instagrams, and we're pretty much just gonna just bam, bam, knock them out real fast. <laughs> we're gonna go back and forth, take turns. So we got our coffee, she's got a protein shake. Coffee's more important, so. I'm trying this for the first time. Mm. This is healthier. Oh, I'm sorry you can't have one you're cutting, but. <laughs> it's all right. She's still sick. Pray she gets yeah. better. We're gonna hop right in. Zinia, why don't you go first? Grab one of your questions. Let's talk about it. All right. Where would you like to travel in the world? What would you answer? <laughs> it's not my question. It's your question. Oh, We're, so everyone answers their no, own like, questions. Yeah. Where would you I, like to travel in the world? I definitely want to go to America. This year? Um, this year. <laughs> I'm probably going to visit you. I'm definitely yes. going to visit you. So, um... Yeah, and where else do I want to go? The Bahamas. I want to see Australia. 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 <laughs> Basically, just go out of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Uh, someone asked, do you drink your water? Yes, I drink my freaking water. Always. Uh, always. 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 You see how big uh, this is? This is two times the size of my head. Mm -hmm. I drink my freaking water. Always. I'm already almost done with this. We're only on our first question. How do you train legs? I always do like uh, three, two or three compound lifts. So like hip thrusts, Romanian deadlifts, squats. Always, even though I don't really like them, but they're <laughs> really effective. There's this exercise, I do it every time, but I don't know how it's called in English. You just lay down mm -hmm. there and then like... The curl? Yeah. yeah leg curl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Boom, that's how yeah. you train legs. How has God changed you on this trip so far? Easy. I have cultivated a new spirit of peace and gratitude. Being away from home with situations not going as planned, uh, just like uh, unpredictable change of circumstances and plans led to me really needing to lean on the Lord. And that's the main thing is like, I have just experienced a new level of peace in the Lord. And also my gratitude has been elevated because it makes you appreciate everything you got back home for sure. Xenia, your turn. That is amazing. She's up here replying to DMs. Gosh, dang it. Take 15 minutes to record a video. Someone asked about my mindset. He was like, just how you get through the day and power through craving. Especially with prep, yeah. I just wanna be the birth, the, 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 the best version of myself. I just think I'm doing this for myself. And if I really lose motivation, then I just go on YouTube or Instagram and Good look at my- stars. <laughs> Exactly. I look at my top idols, so at the girls that motivate me to start with me right. with fitness. Yeah. So um, yeah, or I look at other competitors. That's basically it. Why and how did you get into YouTube? What video editor do you use? Long story short, I basically vlog on Snapchat and Instagram for a while. I always knew like it was something I, I would do good with if I did pursue it. And then one of my friends, Bryson Cram, was like, yo, you should start a channel. Saw the future with it. He's like, you should do it. And so I started, picked up my phone one day, started vlogging in the bathroom. And now we're in Germany making a Q&A video. Go for it. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, wait. I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Definitely not sitting here. What, not sitting here to me? That's not about me? Or? Oh, no, no, it's, it's not about you, it's me. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm not watching Netflix with you. Uh, oh, <laughs> sh Yeah, so basically I want to travel around. I want to yeah. um, have a home in Germany, mm -hmm. in Cologne. 
I just want to like travel around the world, be in different hotels and stuff like that. I want to do more with modeling. Mm -hmm. I want also to train others, to right. definitely inspire others and give them the strength to like do stuff themselves and just mm -hmm. to realize what potential they have. That's awesome. So that's basically what I want to do and where I want to be. Someone asks, why should you eat your broccoli or why should people eat broccoli? Oh my god. Very simple. Very simple answer. <laughs> Make sure wiener bigger. <laughs> if, if that is so not a, true. It so is true. <laughs> broccoli, guys, broccoli <laughs> makes your wiener bigger. Just putting that out there. So if you do have, if you struggle with insecurities about that, just eat a lot of broccoli. All right, looks like you have experience with that. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna grab another one? Oh my gosh, people keep sending them in, wow. Overall goals for life is basically the same, that I just travel around a lot and get to inspire people, get to meet lots of other people so that I can do stuff like that more often. I posted two different question things and people keep sending questions into both of them, so I'm gonna swap over to another one. Someone asks, what's your favorite thing about making content? Um, I, I have two different answers. I enjoy whatever you want to call it, motivating, inspiring, entertaining, whatever. I enjoy giving something to someone's day. I'm starting making content now as a teenager. One day, if no one even watches my videos or ever listens to my podcast or anything, my kids and my grandkids and my great, great grandkids will be able to go back and look at my life and take away from my experiences and like hear their like great grandpa like just when you think about that like the whole family like you leaving a legacy for your kids leaving something for your kids like my dad doesn't have a vlogs of his childhood or podcast about what was on his mind i think that's really cool yeah, yeah. i thought about that yeah like my grandchildren would yes yeah. see, see, see your naked, naked pictures of me <laughs> oh my god that's my grandma alec asks what is your favorite hobbies and things to do? Crap, what's the rest of it? What's your favorite hobbies and things to do in your free time? Uh, favorite hobbies, drink coffee, play music like drums and stuff, occasionally watch Netflix. I really, really enjoy riding horses even though I never do it. I have one friend just side is really into horses and whenever, every time I get over there I want to ride horses. That's my secret hobby, that, or secret thing that I like to do that I don't ever get to do, ride horses. Just hanging out with friends. There is something about hanging out with people that build you up and motivate you that just gives life. And there's some people that are introverts that in order to be recharged, they have to disconnect. For me to be charged up or recharged, I have to connect. That's how I charge it. Tanner asks, how did you get so hot? I eat my broccoli, dude. <laughs> I eat my broccoli. That's how I get so hot. Eat your broccoli. Love you. How long do I already do the sport and how did I decide to compete? I'm doing it like actively for about three years now, three, four years. I guess some booty gains. <laughs> yeah. And I decided to compete last year when I graduated. I right, <laughs> graduated. Yeah. Did I say that right? Gra graduated, yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I really had to set priorities and yeah. I was still working out every day before mm -hmm. I studied yeah. because I can't concentrate unless I work out before. Yeah, and I was like, this is my passion and I've seen, <laughs> I've seen lots of pictures of mm -hmm. those competing girls right. and I was already interested in it, like how fast the body can change and I was like, oh, I want to see how my body changed and if I could do it because a lot of people are not mentally strong enough. I just know that if you compete, it'll make you so much yeah. stronger, right. like physically and yeah. uh, mentally. Oh, yeah. So I was big, like... Big correlation there. Yeah, gotta big get this straight. Javen Starnes asks, what made you start wearing hats in all your vids? So basically what happened was uh, one day I recorded a video and had a hat on. And I was like, I didn't have to worry about my hair. Like, I didn't have to fix it. Boom. Easy. Done. And then I got into this weird thing where, like, I wear the same hat in almost every video. I've worn this hat for the last four months. Probably this spring, I'll switch to another hat. It's easy. You don't have to fix your hair. You don't have to worry about nothing. Um, yeah. I think it's just, like, a part of my brand. And now I, love, I wear hats all the time now where I work out. And it's just become, like, just like drink your freaking water. It's just become part of the brand. Darian asks, how are you so inspirational? Dang. That's deep. I think everybody's inspirational in their own way. People all around the world connect with different perspectives and I think maybe 
like you and me, Darian, maybe you connect with the way I view the world and what I put out, and people connect with the way she views the world and puts out content about it, and people connect with you on the way, you know what I'm saying? So I think, um, I appreciate that though, for real, like, that means a lot. I thank God for giving me, you know, an enthusiastic, outgoing personality. Yeah, dude. Well said. All right, go for another one. How to lose the lower belly fat. <laughs> <laughs> belly comparison. Oh, belly comparison. Oh, Ready? I'll go first. Ready? Is the lightning good? The lightning? <laughs> I look real so white right now. Oh my god. Alright, this is me flexing. Right? And then this is no flex. <laughs> Alright, your turn. What we got? Okay, okay, alright. What we got? Wait. Oh. Gosh, you're making me look freaking. What the heck? That's so not fair. <laughs> I still got a little bit of abs there. Who did it better? Comment down below. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. That yeah, kinda, so that, kinda, that looks a little hot, honestly. <laughs> Just a little bit. Sorry. Uh, basically, you gotta eat in a caloric deficit mm -hmm. and do yeah, do some in. cardio. Yeah, calories in, calories out. It's bottom line. Morgan asks, "How did you come up with drinking freaking water?" <laughs> <laughs> Zinnia and I had known each other for about eight months or whatever. I don't know something like that. Yeah. New Year's came around. She was pretty much like, hey, I want to start a movement. And I was like, when we start a movement, it needs to be something like beneficial that like helps. Like yeah. something like water. yeah, water's good. Like everybody needs to drink drink their water. And she's like, yeah, drink your effing water. I was like, hmm. What about like drink your freaking water? And we take off the Jesus, like freaking like kind of slang. And she's like, yeah, I'm down for that. And then we both agreed to start posting it and then like tag each other whenever somebody posted it. Yeah. And it's just kind of like trickled along and spread, and I think it might, <laughs> maybe by the end of the year, we'll have like a t-shirt or something, a hat. Drink your water. That would, <laughs> that, be, that would be awesome. I might actually get both of those hats. Yeah. That would be, that'd be <laughs> Alec asks, where do you see yourself in the future? Honestly, I have no clue because my life right now, a year ago, I'm literally doing not, like, I'm not in the same relationships as I was, not the same church, I don't have the same friend group, didn't have a YouTube channel, I had never been out of, I've never traveled before, nothing in my whole world was the same a year ago, so I don't know. Also, I really feel a tugging at my heart more towards music ministry on the worship side because that's really where part of my heart is, it's like music. We'll see. I don't really know, man. I really don't. How do you get the money for all <coughs> The traveling you do. This is a really good question. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I, why are you laughing? <laughs> what money? You're living here for free. Exactly. <laughs> Bingo. And that is the answer. Basically, so, connections. Yeah. Yeah. That literally, I came over. I've been in Europe. I'll be in Europe for a month. I came over here with six hundred dollars. Six hundred bucks. And it was basically just the flight. Some bus rides, maybe. Yeah. I mean, like, seriously, it's so connections. Build connections, build genuine yeah. relationships, but don't focus on trying to take, like, always give. What is it like in the Netherlands? Well, I'm currently not in the Netherlands anymore. I'm going back to the Netherlands in three days. I went from the Netherlands to here, back to the Netherlands. Everything is smaller and more compact, I'll say that. Cars are smaller, food is smaller, Porsche, Porsches, Porsches are smaller, like, their freaking Starbucks cups are like mad small. Like everything's smaller. Um, people there, Dutchies. Dutchies are really cool. Dutchies. Dutchies. They're, they're called I, Dutchies. Dutchies. Um, <laughs> I met some amazing people over there. Steve and like his group of friends, like um, Dylan and Jeffrey and Joel and Kaylee. All those guys, like y'all are freaking awesome. Are you always so beautiful? <laughs> are you or why? <laughs> are you? Are you? He he said so beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Was he, was he um, like an Indian creep from the Middle East? <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. True, true. I can be really ugly for someone, and I for the other person, I'm really beautiful. That's so. actually a good topic. But she's been sick, and like she just kind of looked like ratchet. I guess you could call it. That's what you. That's what she. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back. And like I was like, I think you look good because I think that some people prefer different. I don't know. Duke <laughs> ACC champs or heels. Oh, okay, this is like a question like catered towards North Carolina. It's a basketball. I have no idea. Yeah, basketball, that. big tournament. Germans, they don't, they don't understand. I'm just gonna say I kind of would. I was pulling for UNC. Sorry. <laughs> You're gonna get so much hate. I really am. What's your favorite praise and worship song? Miranda asks. Currently, pieces by uh, Stephanie Gressinger. There's a part of my heart that is basically closed off to the Lord, 
And I had somebody speaking to me about it, and they're like, you need to figure out what that is. And that song is all about you don't give your heart in pieces. And I was just like, hmm. That's really good. Morgan asks, what's a Jabin a Jabin workout look like? Boots. Boots? Boots. Oh, well, oh okay. Oh. Appearance-wise, basically this, what you see right now, Alpha Elite shirt with the, hey, whoa, whoa, <laughs> with the hat on, some joggers that make my butt look good, and then these big, fat, black combat boots that I wear in the gym. That's what it looks like for me to wear. That was a good perspective. I have no structure. I have no plan. I have no coach. I have no nutrition. I just... That's awesome. That I gotta say that that is the way it really makes lots of fun. I started to have a training plan like with the exercises and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I lost having fun with fitness and bodybuilding. So. <laughs> he just dabbed. <laughs> Your dad just dabbed. What? <laughs> Your dad. Yeah, I told him that. <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> I love you, Sierra. When do you come home, all caps, two times? It's focusing on our face. Oh. Yeah. As of this video, I'll be home in like a week. 23rd, I'm taking you to yeah. the... Bam. Last question. This is a perfect one to end off on. What would you guys saying us each describe as a healthy relationship with the Lord. Ooh, that's good. You go first. I have <laughs> okay. no idea. Let's, Zen, Zen, I'm working on her. She's not, I wouldn't say you're a Christian. You're not a Christian, are you? Um, you're, officially I am, but like. Here it's more of like a Catholic, like you kind of get born into it. Yeah. Doesn't, that's. Yeah, that's not... You don't really care about, like, the religion. It, it, it's just, like, the way you... So it does, going with it's them. fake. Yeah. That's a really interesting question because I think everybody views a relationship with the Lord differently. What it comes down to with me is, like, it, when you, if you really break everything down, you can get so into it, but at the end of the day, we got, like, three, two minutes before I run out of space, but basically, if you're in a relationship, you want to please them. You want to make them happy. You want, we want to strive to get to know them better. You want to like build a, like a connection, an intimate relationship. Here we have the Bible. We base everything off the Bible. And the Bible is God inspired. It's God's word. If you're in a relationship with a man or a woman, you're not going to want to dis, like go against that, make them not happy. And then it's, you know, if, you, if you're fighting and disagreeing on everything in a relationship, it's going to pull you apart. Same thing with the Lord. If you're like constantly doing the opposite of what he says, then yeah. your relationship is gonna is gonna pull apart and it's not gonna be as strong. And so with me, what that looks like is I'm just constantly in a state of trying to seek God and build like that connection with Him and make it more of a relationship, like you said, it's a relationship versus a practice or religion. I want to please Him and I want to I want to seek His heart and I want to seek His will and I want to follow that plan. So I gotta be honest, I'm not really religious. I don't know if you visited church in Germany, but it's really boring. It's Catholic. Like there is, it's Catholic. Yeah. There is like no spirit in there at all. There are it's religion. just it's like religion. old people there, and they don't really get inspired. I don't want to go to church anyways. Basically, I just know in my heart that I can trust him. As long as I try my best to be a good person, everything will be all right. Yeah. Interesting. So the final question is like, why why is Javen like over here? Besides like the obvious, like I needed a place to stay, but like why is Javen with Xenia and all that and everybody's looking at stuff and they know that like we have very different opinions. I'm aware that she's not really like our Xenia is not in the same place as I am spiritually. And I'm not saying like elevating myself or D like L D elevating you. Yeah, just, you just have more priority on like. I'm working. I'm yeah. working on. I'm working on it with it. I'm. We've talked about stuff. Just know that you should always speak out of love, and you should. Um, you can't force. You can't force relationship with God upon anyone. And that's her decision, and I respect that. But just know that I make it clear what what I believe, and she knows. You can't force relationship with God on anyone. 
Yeah. And everybody has their own uh, opinion. But all you can do is speak out of love and pray for them and accept people the way you uh, the way they are and don't judge them. Like at least only not God can judge yeah. righteously. I think this is a cool uh, Q and A. This video is very long, so I'm gonna have to cut it down a lot. But yeah, I appreciate you guys sending in questions to both Xenia and me. Um, we're just hanging out. We're not hooking up because <laughs> I know that's what everybody thinks. Even though I eat a lot of broccoli, <laughs> that is that's gonna listen. My wife will get to experience broccoli king one day. So I gotta. I didn't eat broccoli here. Yeah, to make it not harder, because <laughs> it's going to be more tempting for you. Oh! Yeah, it's been a good time. We're just out here chilling. Guys can hang out with girls without it being weird. Yes. Leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff that YouTubers bother you with. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. Let's go edit and watch Netflix or something. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. It's good. Eh. That was a good day. Goodbye! <laughs> See you on the next one.